Hi all! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tina. I am the owner of Outback Bath and Body Co. I have been running since 2014. Um, if you follow me on this channel, then you would obviously know that I focus a lot of my energy for this channel on bath by mold reviews. But today I'm going to bring you something a little bit different. Something I have been working on for the last few months and I'm pretty proud of actually. So, um... Obviously not just on this channel there's bath bomb reviews but you may have seen a few of where I hand paint my bath bombs. Now generally I do use an airbrush machine and paint brushes with kind of a muffin tray that has like an open area of different like paint pot type situations. So I would have my paint pots open in something kind of, look, even something just like a cup. I would just have my little paint mix in here and I would have them say that's what I would use. Now, due to that, when I'm painting, I'm either constantly needing to re-dip. So I will do a couple of paint strokes and then need to re-dip that because the brush, the alcohol on the brush has then dried up. Um, I've also come across issues such as I've spilt my... Um, tray and because it has multiple cavities sometimes my paints will mix because they've been knocked and the say the yellow will blend in with the blue and then we get a green that's another issue I face when painting obviously choosing the right size brush for the job that I'm doing that's another thing I face what was the other one? Oh, the alcohol evaporation is the worst actually uh, so I guess it's really costing kind of money in that alcohol evaporation because you constantly need to refill your little paint pots, etc. So I have been working on a product for the last few months, been testing it. It's finally come to the day where I'm doing like the, I guess you could say a soft launch, just sort of testing the waters. Um, I've popped them up on my website, so they're on there live now. I've just started to share it in like one or two groups that I know there's bath bomb makers in just to sort of see what the kind of feedback is. But I thought today that I would actually come and show you the product that I have just launched. So I've not seen anything like this anywhere. And I did a lot of looking around, a lot of specific tag, um, Google searches, and nothing I could find came up. So I'm fairly sure it's safe to say that this is an original product. Um... And I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty excited. So that's good. So what I'm bringing you today, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start showing. I'm going to just flip this camera around so you guys can see um, what I'm going to show you. You'll actually see that I've been just drawing on these because I had to get photos of the colours. So let me just flip this around. Make sure you guys can see what we're looking at here. Oh, my messy bench. Sorry about that. Bear with me. I've been playing today. Okay, so clearly you can see that it is some kind of texture slash marker slash paint pen. I'm not sure where you're from, so I'm not sure what you would naturally call this product in your thing. I'm from Australia. I'm going with um, the a bath bomb paint pen because I guess it specifically has what it's used for in the name. So here we have the... We're going to get some, there we go, Outback Bath and Body Co. And this is our yellow bath bomb paint pen. So it does have a little bit of information on here, the ingredients, the weights, etc., where it was made. And obviously you can see these ones here. These are my ones that I've been using for quite some time. I do have a few other colours that I personally have, but these are the only colours I will be releasing today, oh, plus the blue. So... I'm going to show you just a couple today. I'm not going to go through the full range today. I'm just, it's like an introduction. I'm just, just a taster. I'll probably just show you maybe the blue and the yellow. The rest will leave for other videos. I don't want that yellow. I want this yellow because this one's my one. Okay, so you can see I've been painting here. This one as well. Testing out some colours. I was taking photos of this yesterday for the website. Not very good photos. I'm not a photographer. I do bath bombs and soaps. But anyway, we will press on. So, as you can see, my yellow. So, you, what happens is you do need to shake it to make sure it's all combined well. It does have a, a um, 
polysorbate in it, so it should help it stay all together. The solution has lasted months. This is one of the original ones I made, and I have used this quite a lot and only halfway through the pen, so it's going to last you quite a while because you're not evaporating all that alcohol. It's all enclosed, so very, very handy. I mean, you were just staring at my hand then, weren't you? Sorry. So, like any other uh, paint marker, has a nice nib. Now, if you don't like a round tip, you do have the let me get in this good spot. You do have the alternative to take this out and you have a squared off tip. I prefer the round, so I stick with the round. I just need to wipe my hands because I've got this on here. So to get it started, like any other paint pen, just press down, get the paint through, you can see it started, and then just pick somewhere and start painting. So if you can use a marker or a texture or whatever you call them where you come from then if you start to run out just press it down again there you go it's as simple as that goes on nice and easy you're not losing all that alcohol and stuff i'm going to switch colors now if you do find you get a, a messy tip just wipe it off that one's pretty good actually so i don't need to worry about wiping it but it's very very simple cap on uh, let's do hmm, yeah, let's do blue. Nice alternating colours, and I don't have blue on this one yet. So again, same kind of tip, just to get it started. Make sure it's going through there. Beautiful. And let's do this side now. So you start with the blue. You can see it's nice. Oops, you can't see anything because my hand's in the way. Uh, how am I going to do this so you guys can see? I don't want to be in the way. All right, there you go. So nice and smooth to go on. Very Oh, my hand is still in the way. Sorry. It's because I'm watching what I'm doing and not watching what you guys are doing. So, yeah, very simple to go on. And if you do find it starts to dry out, all you do, press it down once more and keep going. Simple. So that's two of our colours. I'm not going to go through the whole range today because I don't want this to be a super long video. I just wanted to come in and um, show you guys my new little project that I've been working on and launching and all sorts. You can see all the other colours that I've done here. So there's the orange, the yellow, the black, the red, the green, the blue, and then there's purple as well there. So I'll show you the colours all up together. What colour am I missing? Oh, the blue. So, there we go. Oh, get him in my hand. So that's all the colours that have launched now on the website. Um, like I said, I do have a couple, couple of other colours that I have been working on and playing with. One being um, our gold, which has actually been sitting for a few days. So let me just shake it up and see if you can... Mm. That's better. So I'm not going to show it. There you go. So there's the gold we've been working on. It's quite a nice gold. And that one paints really well too. So, yeah. That, that's what I've been doing. Hopefully you um, are a little bit excited about this because I definitely am. Let me move that into frame too. So I thought I would come and share it with you. Um, if you'd like to purchase one of these, they are $7... Uh, no, they are $11.65 Aussie. I'm not sure what that translates to in American. I think it's probably like $7, something like that. But they will last you for ages too. Because, you again, you are avoiding all that evaporation. You haven't got that big waft of alcohol in your face when you're painting. You're not re-dipping. You are not having to worry about spilling these because literally they just cap. They don't leak. They're great. So, yeah, check them out. Tell your bath bomb buddies. And anyone that might be interested, and um, most of all, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.